positive force that started to change people's lives, I would say um, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, well, it's always been Africa's turn. Uh, it's just that uh, in many ways we've not been able to make the turn. It's up to us Africans to make sure that we take that step. I think that definitely things are happening and there, as I said, there is a lot of potential. But this said, I, I would say that we, you know, we should not go, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the way of, of being over enthusiastic and underestimate the difficulties that we have. Africa is at a good moment, but it now needs to turn that opportunity to position itself for structural, true structural, sustainable growth. And that has not happened yet. I do believe that there is a fairly unprecedented level of interest in, in Africa as a continent. And Africa does offer incredible opportunities in terms of access to land and water. So from that point of view, yes, I do think it's Africa's turn. And I think Africa is now aligned to rise as a continent. We have 54 plus countries in Africa. They are all at different levels. Some are at a weakened, a weakening state. Some are in a period of post-crisis or pre-crisis. So we can't all rise at the same time, but largely Africa is going to rise. When you look at the trends of investment, uh, we're seeing that uh, FDI, foreign direct investment, has now overtaken uh, overseas direct assistance or, or aid as we know it. Um, so when we look at all of these things, is that, you know, the statistics are speaking for themselves and observers, both academic uh, practitioners on the ground as well as investors have taken note. It could be. No one's going to give Africa a turn. Africa has to take its turn. So whether or not this is Africa's turn depends on the decisions and the actions of Africa's public and private leaders to really take this turn, take advantage of the, of the good assets the continent has, take that and turn that into an asset for all the people, make sure the benefits extend broadly, make sure the benefits of growth reach inclusively throughout the society, and then this will be Africa's turn. I do believe this is sort of Africa's turn. As I said earlier at the conference, you know, when I went to school 14 years ago here, there was no way that we would have a room full of people talking about Africa's potential. So it's definitely Africa's turn. Mm -hmm.